So we've just been sitting having lunch in the garden and on the comfrey plant in the flower bed we just come across this massive great hairy caterpillar. And this is quite an interesting, this is a garden tiger moth caterpillar. We went back a hundred years ago, these would be a pretty common sight in pretty much every garden that you come across. It's called the garden tiger because that's where you found it in big numbers. And some of the old historic books on Moth ID talk about stampedes of these things coming across the road. But it was declining for quite a long time. Around about the mid 80s, we had a switch to warmer winters. These guys over winter, there's tiny, tiny little caterpillars, very, very susceptible to fungal diseases when they're overwintering in the leaf litter. And the population's really, really plummeted. So we're very, very lucky still to have these in the garden. We're in Malvern, it's one of the few places where you can reliably still find them in land in big numbers. We get a couple of dozen in the garden moth trap every year as adults. But they're such fantastic caterpillars, massively great long guard hairs on the outside, this two-tone coloration with orange underpinnings underneath, the orange on the front end at the head here, it tries to hide from you and then the rest of it black and if you zoom in it's got little iridescent sparkly blue pattern all over the actual body, little uh, tubercles which are bright iridescent blue, it's a really fantastic little thing and the moth is even more spectacular, fantastic brown orange and green creation. These don't eat your garden plants although this one rules on comfrey, they mostly eat dock and dandelion they don't do any harm, they're just really, really fantastic things to have in the garden. And I look forward to seeing this one again in a couple of months as an adult.